Flo, Lara and Badges, hello. Justin and Owls, Rex and Olive. Um, we've got a hi there with some heart cat faces. Hello from Tamsin and Owls. And hi, love Orla and Ewan and Jessica and Squirrels. Lots of lovely children here with us today. So we've got a really, really nice book actually that I've chosen. Kindness Koala is here. Kindness Koala's come with me just so that he can keep me company this, this morning. And we are going to read this book. You might recognise it. You must bring a hat. Now, if you're in year two, you'll probably remember that we looked at this book a couple of years ago with two other books and we did a whole voting on what was our favourite book. And this one, you did a lot of work around and lots of you loved it. And I've loved this book for a long time. It's um, Simon Phillip and Kate Hindley. And it's, it's really good. You have to keep up with this. And then at the end, when we finished, we're all going to have a go at making our own hats and for a teddy bear. Or it could be a hat for one of the values teddies. So, so if you're in school, you might want to take one to um, Mrs. Lewis. Um, to, sorry, to Mrs. Godding and say you've got one made for her. If you wanted to have one at home for one of your teddies, your favourite teddies, you can make a hat. If you wanted... Oh, look, here's Eric. If you want to come then, come up. Oh, oh there he is. See, I spent, I've spent the last year training him not to jump up, but just for this. So you can see, can you see up here? Look, there's everyone. Everyone's joining us today. My distancing dog. He's very tired. Oh, look at that yawn. Oh, Eric, why don't you go back to bed while we read this? read the book and then I was thinking we could probably make him a hat as well so you can make a hat for a dog hat for a cat hat for a teddy bear um or hat for a hat for a tiny little child or a baby yeah should we do that later you're gonna go back to your bed okay it's the end of it don't remember that you're not allowed to jump up when people are sitting down <laughs> okay so you must bring a hat are you sitting comfortably can everyone sit down comfortably make sure you can see this book I received an invitation to a party. You are cordially invited to the biggest, bestest, hattiest party of all time. Starts at 5.30. Wide Brim House, 32 Panama Avenue, West Trilby. You may bring as many guests as you wish, but you must remember to bring a hat. Kindest regards. Nigel, host and fanciest hat judge. P.S. Seriously, don't forget the hat. The party depends on it. P.P.S. Try not to be late this time. So he needs to bring a hat. Sounds like a fun party, a hatty party. Immediately I panicked. I didn't own a hat. And the invitation specifically stated that I must bring a hat. The party depended on it. Do you have a hat at home? If you're invited to a party, would you be able to bring your hat with you? Hmm. Oh, he went along and searched everywhere for a hat. Peddler's finest hat. Sold out. But the only hat I could find belonged to a monkey. That's a lovely hat. Can I borrow it, please? Uh, no. I really, really need a hat for a party. I'll, I'll give it back. And he wouldn't negotiate, so I was left with no choice. At least I had a hat, even if it was still attached to a monkey. But on arrival, can you see he's got there, he's got to the house. He's got his monkey. 
The monkey's got the hat on. The security was pretty tight. Invitation, please, said the doorman. Apparently there were other rules too. Sorry, sir, but we're under strict instructions not to let in any hat wearing monkeys. Unless they are also wearing a monocule. What's a monocule? Oh, it's one of those, it's a, it's a single glass. Have you seen anyone wearing a monocle before? It's like, like you've got your two pairs of glasses, so you've got your two lenses, but it's just the one, and it's like this, and you have to use your eye muscles to keep it in. So he's looking for a hat wearing monkey and wearing a monocle. Oh, look, what did they find? Let's see. Luckily, we soon bumped into a badger named Jeff. He was just the sort of badger we, we required. I do beg your pardon, chaps, but uh, are you by any chance after a monocle? Indeed we are, we need it for a party. I will lend this money my monocle in the condition that I may accompany you to this shindig. So along they went. So they've got the badger, they've got the monkey, the monocle. And there he is, ready, with his gift. Invitation, please, said the doorman again. Sorry, sir, but we're under strict instructions not to let in any hand, hat and monocle-wearing monkeys if they are accompanied by a badger called Jeff, unless Jeff can play the piano. Do you think Jeff can play the piano? Can you play the piano? Piano, I asked. Don't insult me, I'm a badger. Of course I can. Oh, how funny. Laura Louise Popel, Mrs. Mrs. Popel, our neighbour is called Nigel and we're making hats for his cats. Perfect. Eva in, in Moles. Hi, and... Someone's dog's called Nigel. That is brilliant. That is a great name for a dog. <laughs> Jeff can play the piano, I said firmly. I'm afraid we'll need to see that, they replied. But what should drive past? Piano removal. Perfect. Jeff was good. There he goes. But we still had a problem. Sorry, sir, but we can't let this piano le lending elephant in. He's not wearing a tutu. Just typical, there's never a tutu around when you need one. We've sorted that problem surprisingly quickly, but now would we be allowed in? But we'd, we'd failed to notice the sign. Under no circumstances is a tutu to be worn without the supervision of an accompanying penguin. Ah! Martin kindly helped us out and, as he was very clever penguin, we were already prepared for the next rule. All penguins accompanying pink tutu wearing elephants must bring with them a suitcase full of cheese. So they've got a suitcase full of cheese, we've got our badger, we've got all the tutus, we've got an elephant, monkey wearing a monocle. But it turned out the cheese needed to be sliced and none of us had thought to bring a knife. And that was when I broke. It was too much. Look! These are the silliest rules I've ever heard. Nigel clearly stated on his invitation that I could bring anyone I wanted so long as I bought a hat. And I bought a monkey in a hat. So technically I bought a hat. And... So cross. Nigel? Said the doorman. Who's Nigel? This is Felicity's party. What, this, this isn't number 32? 
next door. There's the door they're trying to get into. There's Nigel's party. Right next door. After all that. Oops! Still, Nigel's party was worth the hassle. Even if we were a little late. And they've all got their hats on. After all that! <laughs> so that was, you must bring a hat. So should we have a go at making a hat now? Okay, well, I want to show you the hat that I made earlier. This hat here is the perfect size for Kindness Koala. And my hat from earlier has on it, I don't know if you can see, but it's got, can you see what these are? It's got one, two, three, four, and they're yellow. Oh, sorry, over your eyes. They're little yellow ducklings. So I thought I'd make a duckling hat and it's got two stars up here. So this is my hat, and we're all going to have a go at making one of these hats. Kindness Koala, you can go over here. So we can have a go together. They are ducks, well done. I'm glad you enjoyed that story. Now, let's have a go at making our hat. So you are going to need an A4 piece of paper. It doesn't matter what colour it is, okay? So just put your paper down. I'm going to move the screen down so you can see. And then I want you to follow with me. Okay. Okay, so you should have your A4 piece of paper. Can everyone put it down in front of them in a portrait way, which means that you've got the short sides at the top and bottom and the long sides along like this. So this is portrait. So when everyone's got it portrait and they're ready, we shall begin. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is fold it lengthways, which means you're going to take one side and we're going to go along the length. So folding from one side to the other. Really try and see if you can line up the edges so that it's, it's exactly over from one side to the other so we're folding it in half and then you're going to press down and the trick is to really go all the way up all the way down make sure you're really folding it in half when it's properly folded in half like this I want you to unfold and now we've got it again in portrait can you see the fold line going all the way down the middle so we've got an exact half on one side and a half on the other. Okay, so the first instruction was to fold it in half. Now, number two, I'd like you to take the top and you're gonna fold it in half again in the other direction. So we're gonna go all the way down to the end and we're gonna make sure that they line up, okay? Really be careful. And then you're going to do it again. You're going to fold all the way down and really, really fold it. So it should be exactly in half in the other direction. And then let's have a look. So you should see that there's a cross. Okay, so we've got our fold in half, fold in half. Right, so I want you to have it in half like this as you've just folded it. Are we good? We have a thumbs up if we're good. Okay, so now I'd like you to have a go at taking the edge. So we've got a corner here and I want you to fold the corner down. So we're lining up this middle with the middle fold, with the middle line. So it's going to go down about this far. 
and then you do the same on the other one so we're turning it into a little triangle and you go, go fold fold okay so you should have a nice point at the end fold fold and if it's really nicely folded the more you do it the neater it will be so now can you see that we've got a triangle at the top there and we've got some flaps at the bottom now what i'm going to ask you to do is take one of the bottom flaps and raise it up so we're folding it up so you've just taken it from the bottom and folded it up just one of the flaps when you've done that turn it over and do the same on the other side And then what you should have is a hat. We've got the hats. Has everyone made their hat? Yep. So a tiny little hat. It could be a hat. Be a bit small. A bit small for me. You can wear it this way. Okay, quite nice. You could wear it this way. Both look good. And then what you can do is decorate it however you like. So I'm going to have a go. I've got my colours here to show you. I think what I'll do is I might, I think Tamsin, you'll like this. Tamsin, what do you think I'm going to draw? Yes, some hearts. Have a look at this. You do some big hearts. You could even do some little doggies. You do a dog for the distancing dogs. I'm going to do Luna, who's black. I'm going to do her eyes, her big ears, her nose. There she is. So we've got one distancing dog there. Oh, she looks like she's leaning up. Looks like she's leaning up on the sink to wash her hands, I think. Doggy has got his hat on. Should we put a hat on the doggy? That's a good idea. Let's put a hat on the dog. Really good. Right, Eric, do you want to come and try this hat on? Should we see, see if we can put, get Eric to put the hat on? Eric, come here. Come on. Right, come on. Up, up. I know you're not usually allowed to do this. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh. Here he is. Look, Eric. Lots of people here watching you. Let's see, can you put your hat on? Turn and face the. Turn and face everyone. Oh. Kind of fits him actually. What's this? Show everyone. Ah, oh, Eric with his hat on. That really looks nice actually, Eric. Oh, it's it stayed on. Oh, it's fallen off. So you can make a hat for anyone. I'd love to see what your hats look like a bit later on Facebook. Please do show me. I'll be looking, commenting on all of the all of the different things that you put up. So please do show me. Mine have cats on, Isla and Eowyn. Doggy has got his hat on. Good stuff. Lots of, lots of lovely ones. Okay. Well, I know you're all probably quite hot, but we've got one more quick story before we finish because it's another one about a hat. I couldn't believe it. I had two hat stories. Two of them. This one is one of my favourites. It's hilarious. It's quite a short one. I Want My Hat Back by John Classen. My hat has gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Oh, okay. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? Can you have a look? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I could not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway.
Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything at all. All day I've been trying to climb this rock. <laughs> Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once, it was blue and round. My hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if no one ever finds it? My poor hat, I miss it so much. Oh. What's the matter? I've lost my hat and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It's red and pointy. Anyone notice a hat on the way? Oh, I have seen my hat. There he goes running past all of the animals he's spoken to. You, you stole my hat. Oh, I love my hat. Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway. What do you think happened to the rabbit? I think that's a funny one. I Want My Hat Back by John Classen, another good one. The two good hat stories today. Right, show me your brilliant hats, please, on Facebook. I'll be putting a post up in a minute, so comment underneath. Um, it's been lovely to see you all. My piglet has a hat on. Brilliant. So have a, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine, and I'll see you soon.